Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with all kinds of goodies from Aldi and I wanted to try some new stuff. I kind of had this thought like I want to go in there and look and see if there are different flavors of things I can try like spices or flavorings or um, salad dressings or whatever and I was in luck because they actually had several things in there that I've not not only have I never seen them but I've never tried them so I thought it would be fun to try them and Olive is here hey kitty come here I want to show you how big she's gotten come here girl come here don't be shy now come here hey look at this kitty Look, oh, she's so big. She's so big. There you go. <laughs> she's probably going to help us out. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I got some stuff today that I've never bought before. And um, it's stuff that if you have an Aldi near you, if you're interested in trying it, you might be able to find it. And if I can remember about how much it was, I'll tell you. But, of course, like always, I want to start with the crinkliest stuff first. I try to do the really crinkly things first. Um, so I try to put those kind of near the front. And this got set over here for some reason. But this is one thing that I, I don't know that I've ever seen this in Aldi before. Now, this is from Love and Fresh, which is their, you know, they make all kinds of bakery items and things. It's potato rolls. And they're really heavy, too. Um, I think these were about $2 for eight of these potato rolls. And my older son really likes potato bread. So I thought he might like this. So I grabbed a pack of these and thought we would give those a try. And this next thing is really crinkly. I think this is probably the most crinkly thing we have ever purchased at Aldi. Um, it's, it's wide egg noodles and I haven't, I don't think I've ever bought these at Aldi before. You have to pick them up very carefully. Ooh. Now this is a 16 ounce bag of wide egg noodles. I think they were only about $1.29 and they're from Reggiano or Regano. I know I'm saying that wrong, but it's, this is an Aldi brand. And they make all kinds of things. They make um, spaghetti sauces, marinara sauce, um, different types of pasta. And I got these to make a specific thing that my mom used to make for me when I was little. And for some reason, I just wanted some. And I don't know where this came from. I don't know why she made this, but I called it macaroni cooked like noodles. Now, I don't know why I called it that because there's no macaroni in it. You use just egg noodles, although you could probably use macaroni if you wanted to. And all you do is you boil the noodles, you know, cook the noodles, and then drain the water. And then you add in there milk, just enough to kind of cover the noodles, and some butter, just a little bit of butter, and some salt and uh, paprika to taste, just however much you want. And so you put the cooked noodles back in the bowl that you that you cooked them in and then you add enough milk to cover it some butter and salt and paprika and you don't want to boil it. I mean you don't want to scald the milk but just enough to kind of heat it through and then you just mix it together and it gets this nice creamy texture to it it's so good I don't know there's something so satisfying about it it's so it's so simple but it's very tasty and while I was at Aldi I saw these and I thought, I want to make some of that. I haven't made that. I bet I haven't made that in 10 years, probably. But it's a very simple thing. So I thought I would grab some egg noodles. Because every time I thought about making it, I wasn't at the store. And then I didn't think to add it to my grocery list. So I didn't get any egg noodles. And I don't have any here. Well, I do now, but I didn't then. So, but then... I looked at their seasonings and spices and stuff. I thought I would grab some paprika because I couldn't remember if I had any or not. It turns out I didn't, um, but they didn't have any at Aldi either. But in the past, if you've never tried some of the spices at, at Dollar Tree, they're actually not bad. I use the cinnamon from Dollar Tree and they also have paprika. 
and it's totally decent. It's actually really good, and it's only a dollar, and you get a great big thing of it. And I'm probably just going to run to Dollar Tree and get some paprika. I thought I had some, but apparently not. So, But I have everything else. I have the milk and the butter. And that's it. It's just um, cook the noodles and then drain them. Get rid of the water. Add enough milk to cover it in whatever kind of pot it's in. And then um, a little bit of butter to taste, however much you want to use and salt and paprika and heat it through and I don't know it's just satisfying so I'm gonna make some of that after I go get some paprika <laughs> so there's that crinkly thing this is also crinkly not as bad though now these are really really cool these are from Clancy's that's another one of the Aldi brands of course most of the stuff you find at Aldi is going to be an Aldi brand although they do have some brand name stuff the Aldi stores here have Duke's mayonnaise, and it's cheaper than Walmart if you're interested in that. But these are just little thin pretzels. There's pretzel slims, and they're very thin, and they have salt on them. It looks like they're non-GMO, bite-sized, baked little pretzel slims, and it's an 8-ounce bag. And one thing I like about it is that it's resealable. So you can seal it up, and uh, you, you don't have to have a clip or anything to put on them. And Evie wants out now. All the cats are quiet and peaceful until I want to make a video, and then it's they're reanimated. I don't know why that is. They all need me <laughs> all of a sudden. Okay, speaking of Clancy's, we have three more Clancy things. And I bought some of this stuff because I was informed that our... Um, our pandemic stash has run low. I had a stash of uh, food and snacks and stuff, but apparently the quarantine stash has been raided and all of the snacks are gone. I was not aware of this. The basics are still in there. There's plenty of other stuff, but all the snacks have been eaten. <laughs> so I just grabbed, a, that's not what all of this is, but I grabbed some things to go back in the quarantine stash. So uh, maybe I can have something if, you know, the world comes to an end we can eat nachos or something here's the first one now these are very popular here we have them in two flavors i have one bag of each these are clancy's nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips i love these these are 11 this is an 11 ounce bag and if you don't know what nacho chips look like there's a little window here shaped like a nacho chip and you can see what they look like they look like that they're triangles and they're they're flavored and they're wonderful and the good thing is that the Aldi here the one I go to these are only 75 cents a bag it's wonderful I love it they taste just like Doritos and they're only 75 cents for an 11 ounce bag and you get a lot in here you know with a lot of snacks um, it looks like a lot but when you get it home and you open it like this much of it you know, this much of it's just air these really aren't that way they fill their bags up pretty well so that's always nice it says we all love snacks but getting a good one isn't easy you need great ingredients lots of flavor and some big satisfying crunches unless you have misophonia and then you don't care for that like me at Clancy's we have all that and more all you need to do is grab your favorite bag and go you should probably pay for it first they left that out you should probably pay for it they have uh, they have security guards at the ones here and they'll probably stop you for that but so I got a bag of these nacho cheese flavored ones. Now these I like a lot. They're quite yummy. I'm gonna put these down here. We also have these, and I love the color of blue on this bag. Ooh, it's wrinkled. We also have the ranch flavored tortilla chips, and these are like the Doritos Cool Ranch flavor. And again, they taste to me, they taste exactly the same. I can't tell the difference. And these are also only 75 cents per bag. It's fantastic. It's wonderful how cheap these are. 
This is also an 11 ounce bag and you again have the window here if you don't know what they look like. If you're confused, I mean like if you see this but that's not good enough, you want to see the real thing, you can look in here. It's also It also comes in handy if you just want to confirm that they're not all crushed which I've never had that happen with snacks from Aldi. Sometimes you get a bag and they're all crunched up. I've never really had that happen before. Although I will say, um, the last bag of the Big Dippers I bought, I got it home. Well, I put it in the in my reusable tote bag when I, you know, after I bought them. I got I got home, and I noticed that there were some crumbs in the bottom of my tote. And then later I realized the seal down here had kind of come undone and it was open a little bit. So some of the crumbs fell out of the bottom. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. I just took some tape and just taped it over and they were fine. They weren't stale or anything. Um, so I'm not gonna bother, I didn't take them back. It wasn't, they were fine. That's the first time I've ever had that happen. Um, yeah, so these are the Cool Ranch, they're ranch flavored. So it's like the Doritos Cool Ranch chips. They're, they're good, but I like I like the original, just the nacho flavor ones. I like those a little better. The Cool Ranch is fine. Okay, and then we have another crunchy bag. A crinkly bag. Big dippers. Now, these are really popular here also. Um, I didn't get it out, but I meant to. But I want to tell you about this one thing that I get there, and I just got some more but it's in the refrigerator. Um, they have this fresh cut salsa and it's back in the refrigerated section with all the cheeses and stuff. Um, it's a pretty good size container of it and it's only $2.49. That is the best salsa I think I've ever had. I love it. It's It has tomatoes, diced little diced tomatoes in it and onion and seasoning and stuff. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's a pretty good size um, thing of it. But you have to keep it refrigerated, which is why it's in there. I meant to get it out to show you, but it's it's wonderful. It is so good. They also have an organic version that's in the refrigerated section, but it tastes a little different. And actually, to me, it tastes like, like it has chili seasoning in it. It tastes like chili more than salsa. But I was thinking it would be really good in chili. Or if you're craving chili, you could have some of that organ the organic salsa has that chili taste to it. But we get these big dippers tortilla chips and they're shaped kind of like the opening here. Great for digging in. Now you are going to have some in here that are broken like these. Most of them are pretty good. They're nice nice shapes and you get this great big 10 ounce bag for only $1.29 in the Aldi here. A dollar twenty-nine. You know, if you got a bag of the Tostitos scoops like this, that'd be four dollars easily. Three or four dollars for a bag that size. Dollar twenty-nine, and they are so good. These are great chips. They're um, yeah, they're wonderful. You can just eat them by themselves. But see, they're like a little bowl. So when you're eating salsa or guacamole or whatever, you just scoop it. That's why it's called dippers. You know, you just dip it in there. And it holds it for you and it's wonderful. That is also from Clancy's. That they make the best stuff. They really do. But that's an Aldi brand also. With the big dippers, we probably go through a bag about every week or so, week and a half. Everybody here loves those. So but it's like they take it in spells, my kids do. They'll eat a whole lot of it and then they get tired of it and they don't want it for a while. So I have to kind of monitor, okay, what are what are we what are we eating right now? So I don't want to buy stuff that goes to waste. So I try to I try to keep that in mind. And this is another thing that we've seen a lot. These are Mama Katsi's pieces of turkey pepperoni. Now these are with the spaghetti and the pasta and all that stuff. They're not in the refrigerated section, but you do want to remember that after you open this, it has to be refrigerated. It's okay to leave it out until then though. And you see we have the resealable top. I love that. So you don't have to worry about finding a clip or something to hold it down. It's, or putting it in another container or something. Now they do have the regular pepperoni, just the original 
you know, it has, I guess, pork and beef and stuff in it. They have that also. Um, but you, this bag is a five ounce bag. Now the original pepperoni is going to be a four ounce bag and they're two twenty nine dollars per bag here. Of course, prices vary everywhere, but we like the turkey pepperoni better because it's not as greasy. It seems, and it, it doesn't matter what brand you get, it seems like it's all kind of greasy, but this turkey pepperoni is not. It doesn't leave that film. You know, it's, it's nowhere near as greasy as the other kind. Um, and it does say right down here in little letters that you have to refrigerate it after opening. And it does say that it has 60% less fat than their original pepperoni, which I would totally believe, and that's all that greasy stuff. But here's what they look like. The back you can see is clear. So you can just, you can clearly see all those pretty pieces. Look at all the pepperoni slices you get. It's a great deal. Every time I buy pepperoni, I think about Randy and the Trailer Park Boys. If you ever watch that show? He saw, is it Randy that's always looking for pepperoni? He always wants pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, it makes me think of him. Um, and my older son asked me to pick up some bagels. Now they have three or four different types of bagels and it varies. Sometimes they have different things. These are the pre-sliced blueberry bagels from Love and Fresh, L apostrophe O-V-E-N. And they make all kinds of breads and pastries and yummy things like the potato rolls we saw earlier. Those hamburgers, like hamburger buns, which I've never tried, so I'm, I'm curious to see how they are. But here you get six really big bagels. Um, let's see, that is 20 ounces, so it's as heavy as one of their, their loaves of white bread that I get. 20 ounces. And they're only $1.49 for six bagels. And I have had these before, and they're they're actually really good. They're very yummy bagels. You can get blueberry, plain, cinnamon swirl, and they have the everything bagels. And sometimes they'll have other flavors as well. But those four, they pretty much always have those four things. Um, and they're usually about $1.49 somewhere in that price range for six really big bagels. Look at that. And they're they're really yummy. So, yeah, let's see. These are cute. I'll look at those in a minute. I have some stuff here. Now, I know these are evil, nasty, bad, but I bought them anyway. That's my new word, evil, nasty, bad, uh, for anything I buy that people don't like. I was told that these are evil, nasty, bad. And, you know, double plus ungood. You don't want to eat baby carrots um, because they have like chlorine and Satan in them or something. Um, but we like baby carrots. We do. And we eat them. And we're going to eat these. And then we'll probably get some more. And then we'll eat those too. They have these bags. A 16 ounce bag of baby carrots. And I know they're not actually baby carrots. They're peeled grown carrots. And they do stuff to them. Um, but, you know, I, I wash them and pat them dry, and then we eat them, and nobody's died yet, but they are evil, nasty, bad, and you shouldn't eat these. Um, I've been told. That's what I've been told. Now, these are from Grimway Farms, and they ought to be ashamed of themselves. They lull you into a false sense of security here by saying there are no preservatives, and they're ready to eat. I always wash them anyway. Um, but, yeah, these are, um, and these are only... Well, they were 99 cents for a bag, but I noticed when I bought these, they've gone up to $1.29, which is still totally decent. I think that's a perfectly good price for a whole pound of these things. But I got this, and I got some celery, and I have some ranch dressing, and my younger son loves to eat these with just a little bit of ranch, you know, and just dip them in there and eat it. So he asked me to pick up some, some of these and some celery so he could have that with some ranch. So, he eats some more than anybody else. He really likes these. Oh, uh-oh, you know what, though? I just had a thought. See, he just, he's, he has braces now. That may 
actually be a problem. I don't know that he's allowed to eat these. Maybe I can cut them up smaller. Maybe if we just cut them into smaller pieces, he can eat them. I think carrots was one of the things on the list that he's not allowed to have anymore with his braces. Um, because it can, I guess when you bite down on it, because it's hard, it can pop the bracket off. I just now thought of that because he hasn't asked for these since he got his braces. I'll look into it. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. I'll, even if we just have to cut them, make them smaller, we can do that. Yeah, I feel bad. I didn't think about that till just now. Now, celery wasn't on there. This is dough, field picked, field packed celery. And you do want to wash it before use because you, usually when I pull it out of this bag, it's got dirt all over it. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely want to wash it because there's no telling what's on here. So this is one of the brand name things you're going to find. And it seems like every time I buy celery at Aldi, it's Dole. Right there, Dole. And um, this was only this was also $1.29. And they were $0.99, cents, but they've gone up a little bit too. Although some of their produce has gotten a lot cheaper. But I guess it's just the time of year and what's in season and what's not. So it's open at the top, and you can see it has little bits of leaves on there. And it has Spider-Man on it. Is that Spider-Man? He's, well, no, that's Thor. The plastic is messed up, and I don't have my glasses on. But you can see it has Marvel on there, and some warped, literally warped superheroes. Like somebody grabbed it right there and just yanked on it. But there's Thor. And some nondescript individual. I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know who it is. And I don't know what they have to do with the celery, but there you have it. It's a, a particular individual, and I don't know who they are. I'm going to put it over there. So, um, I'm not a big fan of celery, but my younger son likes it. So, he likes to eat it with um, ranch dip, like I said. And then I thought... I would get some baby potatoes. Look at these little babies. These are tasteful selections. Field to fork, fresh in every bite. Look at these little baby potatoes. I got this bag of potatoes here. It's from, it's the Sunrise Medley. They are one bite potatoes. I don't know, you might choke if you tried to eat some of these in one bite. Um, it doesn't say how much it weighs. That's about a pound, I'd say. These were $2.99, and they come in this festive little red bag. Look at those cute little things. So I thought I would boil some potatoes. I may mash them up and put some, maybe some butter in there and some chives or something. I don't know, something different. I'm just tired of eating the same thing. You know how you get in a rut and you just have the same thing all the time? I just wanted to try some different stuff. So I have the, I bought some meat. It's in the refrigerator. I got some chicken and some ground beef and some um, center cut pork chops. So I just wanted to try something else. Um, I'm tired of eating the same thing all the time. So I thought it would be cool to have some little baby, baby taters. Look at them. They're just so cute. They're so precious. I don't know why I find baby potatoes so appealing. They're just, I don't know. They're just adorable. They peed on the table. Something did. Okay. Now, here was a really good deal. From Cottle Farms, we have a dry pint of blueberries. These are pretty. These were only 88 cents for this dry pint of Cottle blueberries. And I wasn't planning on buying blueberries, but when I saw they were so inexpensive, I went ahead and got a pack anyway. Cottle Farms. Sometimes they have great big things of blueberries, but that for 88 cents I thought was a really good bargain. Um, you know, of course, you always want to wash them before you eat them because they probably got pesticides all over them and who knows what. And another good deal. Now, the it's got condensation on it on the inside, but from Central West, we have these strawberries, and they're so pretty. Look, these were only $1.29, but they did have a limit of two. 
I only got one though. Usually if I get just one carton, that'll do. If I get two, they don't all get eaten before they go bad. It seems like for us, one container of strawberries is, is just about right. Now when you do get these, you wanna look them over because sometimes there will be a bad one in there and it has the fuzzy stuff on it. So you wanna make sure you check before, you know, don't just grab it and throw it in your cart. You wanna really look it over and make sure it's okay. And there's some condensation on there, but no fuzzies, not that I see. So that's from Central West, and that is 16 ounces of strawberries. And they're actually pretty cheap everywhere right now. It seems like any store you go to, they're, they're pretty reasonable right now, I guess, because of the time of year. And now I found these. I found these over... Um, on an end of an aisle, you know, where they have limited time stuff that they don't have all the time. I found these and it looked interesting. Now these were, these were $2.99 each, so they're little, but they were a little expensive. These are salad crisps, but if you're low carb or doing a keto diet, this would be a good, a good snack if you're looking for that. Um, I did, I'm, I did low carb for two years, but I've kind of fallen off the wagon right now, so I'll save this for when I get back to it. Um, but right now, I'm not. I'm not doing it right now. I did. I did it for two years. Um, this is fresh gourmet bacon cheddar. It's baked cheese. So if you ever tried like the Whisps, the the cheese crisps they make, um, and there are different brands like Parm crisps, and there are others. The wisps, I think, are my favorite. The cheddar cheese wisps. Oh, man, they're good. These are, I guess, if you want to put them on a salad instead of croutons, or you could just eat them like they are. Crunchy and delicious. Now, this is only 1.76 ounces, um, but it has no carbs. Um, you want to watch the sodium, though. Um, they have real bacon, baked cheddar, crunchy and delicious. And they just show them as, you know, something that you would add to a salad. But, I mean, you could just eat them right out of the bag if you want. And they are gluten-free, according to this. Right up here, there's going to be a seal. So once you, it's notched here. So once you tear that off, you're going to have a little zipper seal. So if you don't want to eat them all at once and die of a stroke or something, you can go ahead and seal it up and save the rest for later. And they were $2.99. Now, they had these, again, they were on the end of an aisle, just with, you know, when they just have this limited stuff. It's not with the regular stuff. Like, you're not going to find these with the croutons and the salad stuff. They did not have many of these left. Somebody, whoever goes to my store must really like these because they bought pretty much all of them. But I did, I did get bacon cheddar, and they also had this one. These are parm. Just Parmesan cheese, I guess. Let's see. Yep, and this is the actual size. And so it's going to be like those Parm crisps or Whisps, the the baked cheese, you know. These were so these were two ninety nine. Also, you know, fifty grams, one point seven six ounces. So it's just like the bacon cheddar ones. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, that that's actually really cool. I don't know why they didn't come out with that sooner. Because you know when I'm when I'm doing the low carb thing and I make a salad, I don't put, I can't put croutons on it, but I would use wisps on it. I would just break them up and put them on, just crumble them on there, and just have something crunchy in there, and then put my bacon and everything in there. Yeah. So these are actually really cool. I'm not gonna eat them now. I'm gonna save them. Um. So, but I thought that was kind of neat. The only bad thing is, especially with this one, I think I'm really gonna like the bacon cheddar bad thing is if I like it, when I go back to get more, they probably won't have any because it's not their regular stock. So they're going to be gone when I want more. I, I already know that's how it's going to go. And then I found these cute little things over in the produce section. Look at this. These are from Nature Sweet. They're Divines. Cherry tomatoes on the vine. Look at those happy little tomatoes sitting there on the vine. You get a bunch of them. They're little snacking tomatoes. And I, I wanted to get some cherry tomatoes or some of the grape tomatoes, 
But I saw these and I don't know, they just looked really cute. I've never seen these at Aldi before. Um, it's nine ounces and I don't remember how much they were. I think they were $2, but I could be wrong. And they come in a little tray like this and it has Nature Sweet on the side. So I don't know, I just, I was looking for different types of stuff just because I'm tired of eating the same stuff. But of course, you know, there are some things that week in, week out are favorites. One of which is toaster tarts. Now these are from Millville. My kids went on strike for a while against toaster tarts. They declared that pop tarts were better than toaster tarts. I disagree, but I don't really like toaster pastries anyway, so I don't know. So for a while, I switched to pop tarts. And then one day I went to Aldi and I was going to get pop tarts, but they were out of the chocolate ones. So I grabbed a box of chocolate toaster tarts. Now these are the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon toaster tarts. So it's not the same thing, but I grabbed the chocolate ones. And both of my kids said to me, you know what? These are better than pop tarts. I said, really? They said, yeah. So we went back to toaster tarts and now I buy toaster tarts exclusively again, which is great because they're about half the price of pop tarts. Now in the Millville box, you know, the, even pop tarts come in different sizes. Gosh, in Walmart, you can get these massive boxes of pop tarts and there are 48 pop tarts in there. It's, it's crazy. It's like a high rise of pop tarts, just sugar and preservatives as far as I can see. And they're only $10 for 48 pop tarts. Comes in a cardboard box. It's very sturdy. It's almost scary. I've never seen anything like it. But the toaster tarts just come in the packages of 12. Now inside, you're going to find six full containers, little full packages. A little full. And each package is going to have two toaster tarts in it for a total of 12. 12 pastries. It says that it's essential goodness. So you know it's good. No certified synthetic colors. And this whole box weighs 22 ounces, and these were only $1.45 for toaster tarts. And they, um, it takes about a week and a half for them to eat these up, so it'll last for a little while. I'm not a big fan of toaster pastries. I just, I don't really like pastries in general. I don't like danishes or things like that. I've just never really cared for them. But... Sometimes for breakfast, they like to have a toaster tart or two. They don't toast them. They just take them out of the box and eat them. So they show you a little cube of brown sugar, which I've never seen a cube of brown sugar, but there we go. Or it could be a really, really tiny Rice Krispie treat. And then we have some cinnamon right there, a cinnamon stick. So you can get these in chocolate flavor. Um, I think they have strawberry and blueberry. Um, they have the s'mores flavor and the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon for the toaster tarts. Although sometimes when you go, they don't have all of the flavors, they'll just have some. So if you like a flavor they don't have very often, what I've started doing is if there's something I really like and they have it, I'll just go ahead and grab a couple, two or three. I'll stock up on them in case I can't find them for a while. But the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon, they usually have that. So. I was really glad when they said that, to that toaster tarts were better than pop tarts. That made me happy. And then of course, we have the Love and Fresh loaf of white bread. That's a nice loaf. The last few times I've been there, it seemed like a lot of their bread was squished. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if they dropped a pallet on it. But it seems to happen frequently. I went there several times and it looked like the bread was mashed, like somebody sat on it or something. This is a nice, almost a perfect loaf. I was very careful getting it home. I didn't want to mess it up because it's so pretty. Look at it. Like it's from a commercial or something. Now Love and Fresh, of course, makes this too. Just like the potato rolls and the bagels. They make all kinds of yummy things. Now this is a 20 ounce loaf of sliced bread. Um, 
bread around here doesn't last long you know it gets used to make sandwiches my older son has started making the um, cheese toast like I like I don't know if I've ever told you about that you take a piece of bread any kind of bread and a piece of I just use the the, the pre-wrapped the individually wrapped slices of American cheese put it on top and you put it in a toaster oven or a regular oven or whatever and you put it on broil and you just toast it with the cheese on top and just eat it like that and it's um I used the I used the uh, zero net carb bread that Love and Fresh makes and whatever kind of cheese and then that's it you just eat it like that and uh, he's been making a lot of that lately so I wanted to make sure he had enough bread to do it so he said that this bread toasts better. I had bought I bought wheat bread, but he said this toasts better. I don't know. He said the wheat bread tastes funny when you toast it. So I'll take his word for it. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. I want it to be there and look lovely. Now we do have some other things here. This is Nature's Nectar. It's very heavy. And you see it, they fill it all the way to the top. One thing that Aldi does that I really like, they try to minimize their packaging. They try to they try to find ways to minimize the amount of packaging that they use for their products. And they do that here. See, and but don't worry because when you open it, it's vacuum sealed. When you pop the seal, it's gonna it's gonna kind of relax out this way a little bit. You know, kind of like if you've been wearing Spanx all day and you finally peel them off. You know, it does that, and then it just the the, the level goes down. So it's not gonna sploosh out everywhere when you try to pour it. But this is Nature's Nectar Splash Berry Blend. And it's just like V8 Splash. Um, although I've noticed, now these and Aldi are about $1.69 and that is for 64 ounces. They also have a really good mango flavor. It's, it's pretty good. But I've noticed that it's actually not that much cheaper than V8 Splash, at least at Walmart here. The V8 Splash of this size at Walmart is about the same price, but uh, I get this at Aldi because I'm already there and I hate going to Walmart. So I try to get in at, I'm like a bank robber when I go to Walmart. I try to get in and out as fast as possible. I, I go in, I get what I want and I try to get out. I just, I don't linger in there because it's Walmart, but. Plus now I have a mask on and it's just, my face gets hot. I feel like I'm in a sauna just from here down and it's uncomfortable and it makes me grouchy. So, I mean, I wear an Aldi too, but in Aldi, I'm in and out of there pretty fast anyway because it's not a big store. But in Walmart, you have to walk five miles to find anything. Okay, now this is another Clancy's item. I think this is the only Clancy's thing that we have that doesn't come in a crinkly bag. Now these are stackers, the sour cream and onion chips, they're like Pringles, but this is another item that my older son said is better than Pringles. He said it's better than the brand name. I can't tell the difference, but it's sour cream and onion. And for some reason we have this little potato man and he's in the snow and he's snow skiing on green onions or whatever that is. And he's got his little poles and his little hat to keep him warm and he has a mustache and a goatee for some reason. I don't know what it takes to get a potato chip to grow facial hair. It's probably the GMOs in it. I don't know, but it's only 99 cents and this is a five and a half ounce tube of stackers and they have other flavors. Um, usually at our Aldi though, they only have two. They have the original flavor and sour cream and onion. I don't think they have any other flavors. I think that's it. But he's nice and frosty out there in the snow, which is a nice thought because it it got up to almost 100 here again today and I'm just, I'm done with this heat. I'm tired of it. I'm very fed up with it. It's been over 90 every day here now for about three weeks and it's just awful. You can't get out and do anything. You just, I just droop when I go out, outdoors because it's, it's super humid and hot and it's just awful. Now here is an item that is very nice. Now this is Savor It's, and I love this really pretty blue that they have up here. It's kind of like the blue on the white bread. I didn't show you that, look. If you look at the top, look at the pretty blue on that border. Is that not the prettiest color blue you ever saw? 
it's kind of a royal blue and see it kind of matches the blue on the savor it's box now these are like ritz crackers um i bought some of the store brand ritz crackers at walmart a week or two ago and i tried some and they're nowhere near as good as these i think these are these are to me i think they're a little bit better than ritz crackers but the store brand Walmart Ritz crackers are, are bleh. They're weird. They have a funny aftertaste. And they're more than these. These are only a dollar. I think they're a dollar twenty-nine a box. And you get four uh, little sleeves of these crackers in here. And they're so good. Now this is a 13.7 ounce box. And it says it has no artificial col colors and no trans fats. But these are really nice. Um, sometimes I just eat a few of these as a snack or whatever since we're not worrying about carbs right now. Um, I'll just eat a few of those as a snack. And then another item from Savorites that we have are these saltine crackers. And these are really great. Um, and they're only 75 cents for a box. And you get four tubes or sleeves of crackers in here. And um, my younger son likes to eat soup. I don't know how he can eat soup in the middle of summer, but he likes to have soup pretty frequently in the summertime. It's just too hot for me to eat soup. But these crackers are wonderful. I think they're good as, they're as good as the premium crackers, which for a box this size would be about three to four dollars in the stores around here. These are only 75 cents for a box of these. And it's a 16 ounce box of saltine crackers. These are the original. I think they also have low sodium and whole wheat. I just get the regular saltine crackers. Um, with that, he'll be very happy because I think I think we were actually out of crackers. Now for some new flavors. I have some new flavors here. Look at this. Now this it looks like a thing of whiskey or something. Look at it. It's like a little flask. I found this over with... Um, the, you know, well, in my Aldi, you know, they have the AOS, you have the Isle of Shame with all the non-food stuff on it. I didn't find anything good on the AOS today. I went through there, but I didn't see anything I wanted. But then in my store, on the next aisle over, they will have kind of limited edition or seasonal stuff or Aldi finds, stuff they don't have all the time. Now, this was a new thing that I did not see over there when I was in there last time, which was just a few days ago. It's Tiger Tail Limited Edition Smoky Mustard Barbecue Sauce. It says it's seasoned with tradition. I don't know what tradition tastes like, but it's seasoned with it. It's a gourmet sauce, seven and a half ounces. This was, um, I think it was $2.99. And they also had, they had at least one other flavor. They had a jalapeno flavor. I just got the Smoky Mustard Barbecue. And I thought I would, you know what I thought I'd do? I thought about taking, I've got some uh, chicken breasts in there. I thought about throwing them in the crock pot, putting all of this in there, and just letting it slow cook for six hours or whatever. And just drenching the chicken in, in just this whole bottle and seeing how it comes out. But I bet it would smell really good and make the whole house smell yummy. So it's tiger tail. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Barrel Caskin would like that. <laughs> it's got a tiger on it. <laughs> it's glass. The top is plastic. I don't know. I just thought I would try it. I don't think I've ever tried a smoky mustard barbecue sauce. So I thought that would be interesting. And I also found some salad dressing that looked good. This was also on the, in the Aldi Finds, the limited edition food items. This is Simply right here, and it's the Tuscan Garden flavor, lemon poppy seed vinaigrette dressing. And you can see how quickly it separates. You would really have to shake it to mix it up. What well, doesn't want to mix, does it? So yeah, it's lemon poppy seed vinaigrette dressing. And the Simply products at Aldi um, usually don't have synthetic flavors or colors. This has no artificial flavors or preservatives, 
and no certified synthetic colors according to this. I think these were these were really cheap. I think these were only about $1.29 and it's a 16 ounce bottle of salad dressing. I actually, I, I wasn't thinking about putting it on a salad, but I thought I would look around and see if I could find some recipes that would be fun to try with this. This one and this one. Now this one is white balsamic citrus base, basil vinaigrette dressing. And they also had a raspberry, but I did not get the raspberry flavor. Um, but that was another one they had. And I, th I think they were, I think they were $1.29 a bottle. It was really cheap. And this one also is 16 ounces. I could even, you know what I could do? Especially, I'm thinking with this one, I could do um, a crock, a slow cooker recipe with my crock pot with that chicken instead of the barbecue sauce. I could try it with, you know, make it with this and see how that tastes. I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. I'm looking for different flavors of stuff. So I thought that was cool. And then I found some seasonings while I was looking for paprika. I saw these seasonings that looked really tasty. This one is from Stone Mill. Now that is an Aldi brand. Amazing Burger Grill Seasoning. And I do have some ground beef. So, and I was thinking about either making hamburgers with it, make some hamburgers or spaghetti sauce. I'm not really sure. But if I make burgers, I could try this amazing burger grill seasoning. How much do you get? This is 5.75 ounces. You could do a lot with that. Now, I don't have a grill. I don't do any grilling. Let's see what's in this. Salt, onion, chili pepper, sugar, garlic, tomato powder, red bell pepper, paprika ex extractives for color, natural smoke and grill flavors, and caramel color. And Stone Mill is an Aldi brand. So it has the twice as nice guarantee if you don't like it. They will give you your money back and give you a replacement item for free. It's a great guarantee. I've used it, I think, twice. Uh, one time I got some canned cat food there, and when I got it home and opened it, it had already, it was, it was spoiled. Like, I think the seal on the can was not good or something. And I took it back, and they gave me my money back and replaced every single can. It was awesome. And I don't remember what the other thing was, but that was the one thing, because they, they replaced every single can and gave me all my money back. It was fantastic. No questions asked. They didn't even ask to see a receipt or anything. But yeah, I thought I would try this. It's kind of like, um, not seasons. Am I thinking of season salt? I don't know, but... Yeah, I thought I might try that. If I don't try it now, maybe I can try it next week. And here was something that I thought would be kind of cool. Do you like everything bagels? Because if you do, I just found this today. That from Stone Mill at Aldi, they have everything bagel seasoning. It comes in this little glass jar. So you could season anything you want to. Here they have pieces of avocado. So if you like the seasoning on everything bagels, which is everything... <laughs> You can now get this little shaker container. You just pop it open. There's a seal in there. Pop it up. Just shake it on there. You can put it on toast. You can put it on whatever you like from Stone Mill. It says here, sprinkle generously on anything and everything. Avocado toast, mac and cheese. Oh, I bet that'd be good. Um, Burgers, cheese spreads, chicken salad, tuna salad, deviled eggs, pasta, popcorn. Ooh, popcorn. Potatoes. Oh, it'd be really good on potatoes. Fish, soup, stir fry, tacos, steak, vegetables, and yeah, sure, bagels. That would be really good, I bet, on, um, what was it I was thinking of? The macaroni and cheese, I bet it'd be really good. I bet that'd be good on potato salad. You can just put that on everything. Yeah, so this is a little 2.3 ounce container of everything bagel, bagel seasoning, which I've never seen there before. But you know what I, ooh, those baby potatoes. Yeah, I could, I could make, I could boil these, mash them up, and put this on them. That would be yummy. That would be really good. Maybe I'll do that. 
or make some macaroni and cheese and put it on that or do both I don't know I could I could do either one and then the last thing I have to show you is grits now I don't know if your Aldi has grits but here in the south we do now I spent a year living in Illinois as I've mentioned before when I was in the cult you know I wrote the whole book about it I lived in Illinois for about a year and one of my big complaints was I couldn't find grits anywhere and everybody said the same thing just get cream of wheat it's the same thing if you're from the south you know darn well grits and cream of wheat are not the same at all cream of wheat is like wallpaper paste and grits is not made out of wheat grits is dried hominy that's been crushed up and you boil it and then you do whatever you want with it after that but you have to boil it now these are not around here we call real grits I mean they are but these are quick grits there are real grits quick grits and instant grits now the real grits you have to boil for about 15 minutes it's just like un unprepared unprocessed crushed dried hominy which is a type of corn the real grits you have to boil longer but I think they taste better the quick grits are totally decent. There's nothing wrong with it. And they do they cook faster. These cook in five minutes. The instant grits usually come in a little packet. And I think they've already, already like they're like pre-cooked and dried or something. I'm not really sure how they work. They've done some kind of hoodoo magic to them. They're fine. But it seems like the more processed they are, the less flavor they have. Um, but yeah, this these are from Millville. So Aldi makes their own grits. And I wanted to get a little container and they're really cheap. This is 24 ounces of grits and you're gonna get a lot of servings out of this container. You don't need a whole lot. You only need three tablespoons of these for one serving to make you a little bowl of grits. And grits are great because you can do anything to them. You can just eat them with a little salt. You can add gravy to them. You can add anything to them. They're like a blank slate. You can you could just eat them like they are. Or you can put cheese in them or pepper and chives or green onions or whatever that is. You can do anything to them you want to. And they're really good. Um, I've been low carb for two years. I haven't had grits in a long time. I thought I would have some grits. I didn't even have any here. But they come in this nice little container and they have a, little, a lid on them up here. It's kind of like a container of, you know, oats, like rolled oats. It's kind of like that kind of container. And I think these were only about $1.29 for this nice size container of grits. But yeah, I, I like grits, but I haven't had any in a long time. I had to have my mother mail me some when I lived in Illinois because I couldn't find them anywhere up there. They don't believe in them, apparently. But anyway, that's everything. That was everything I wanted to show you today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.